What is good friends? We are back with more World Cup action and we got Axel 10 playing for Team Spain. Bro yeah. Kappa playing for Team Italy. We got Padlob in the call. What up? And this looks like something I would build. You're a little bit low by the way. Oh yeah, yeah. Um There's like some balance so like, I would use. Looking looking at looking at both the teams. Uh, they look pretty interesting, like Mega uh, Aerodactyl, Rocks Fable, I th oh, actually Rocks Rocks Hippo. Hmm, not sure. Yeah, like Aerodactyl is like um something you don't see too too often. So if the Greninja scarf, um, and broke up, I might fear scarf Greninja and switch out into Toxapex. I don't. I don't think it's Scarf Gren though. Yeah, but so he might Doesn't just make... go for a Spiky anyway, bluffing the scarf. So you think yeah, you think it's scarf like, no, You think it's scarf Bro, bro Kappa, bro Kappa knows that. Like, if any, anything, Ladius scarf. Like. Yeah. Okay. So do you think it's just Ducky with Zodwai? Probably. Hey, he's he's going he's going either uh, Steela or he's going uh, Toxapex. Uh, Tangrowth and doubling into into Steela. Either one of those two plays. Oh, you're talking about Axel, okay, okay. I was yeah. thinking Bro Kappa might scout out here. No, no, there is no way. Does Aerodactyl even owe Koku Ninja? So yeah, if I, if I, uh, if I don't it sound... should. Stone Edge should Oko. If I sound like weird or something, I like didn't sleep enough, so yeah, I'm kind of fucked up. Stone Edge does 82 to 96. What? It doesn't kill, see? He was forced out. See, he was Scarf Greninja, that's what I'm saying, like, he had to switch wait, there. Wait, wait, yeah, wait, like, see, up. he had to switch hold there. Up. There was an option that he Scarf Gren, you have to at least scout for it if you broke out, but that's what I'm saying. He's gonna go to Tangrosy to prevent the Leech Seed, I assume. Uh, so you can just go for Heavy Slam, get some chip, get his leftovers back, uh, Greninja has no business staying I mean, in. I mean, it, it doesn't do anything, though. Like, I'd, I'd go either Clef... Or tan uh, or um, fucking uh, hippo. I mean, yeah. You just, the thing is, you want your lefties back, so you kind of want to stay in a turn or two. I don't think you need them right now, especially because you get recovery on almost any mon. Okay. Exactly. So you can. Well, yeah, pex pex was a fine play as well, but I was thinking of getting up the rocks. Right. We have so. seen uh, a lot of Shetchel Toxapex lately. Shetchel Toxapex? We have seen it a lot lately in World Cup, yeah. Especially from Team US East, but this is not Team US East. Uh, as soon as matches go for T Spikes, yeah. Yeah. So, like, he's gonna try to trick now. Isn't this. You could go Excadrill here. Because Excadrill yeah, especially, especially if it's Z move. That yeah, it doesn't really care about the trick, even if it's not Z move. And yeah. if he defogs, that's fine. If he defogs, you can still like um, go hippo afterwards. But the Celestia from Axel's team is like so annoying for Bro Kappa. Oh, he has, he has, like he can. No, it's it's fine to deal with. You can with, PP though. stall it between to Toxapex and. That yeah. was that was risky as hell. That's understandable. If he had Toxic, and he would have stayed in with his Pex. So hard Aerodactyl potentially putting a trick slash defog. Um, he might have pursued I mean, on this. Good play, good play by Bro Kappa. Like it obviously worked, but it was risky as fuck because he could have very well uh, just psy shocked and got chip off. This has pursued this guy's god for bringing it in on a scarf default, but I don't think it's scarf Ladi because oh, he always showed scarf. He might be pursued. He might be pursued actually. I don't think the Ladi is scarf. Hmm. <laughs> When you always should the rock sled grin. Hmm. This is interesting. Also, I have to re narrate the game that I recorded earlier because these guys are way too wild and ruined my recording. He is pursued wild a god. Exactly. He's just gonna Whoa 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 Would you double into Ducky whoa. here? Whoa, Doc, did you see this? What? Eject button! Wait, what? Eject button, laddie? Eject button, laddie! Oh my god, I've seen that before, but I didn't expect it to come out. 
Why does this team actually look like Mighty Danny team? With Greninja, <laughs> with Greninja over the Danny. That's funny. Chiellini. Yeah, is he? I thought I was thinking about doubling the Dougie. That was another good play by Bro Kappa. Yeah, Bro Kappa making the mid ground. He doesn't want to get caught. You just set up your rocks and then you pretty much win with arrow. What if he's toxic on Dougie? No, it's fine because once you get your rocks up, like, Lottie can't defog and uh, Zari takes 50% every single time it comes in. Yeah, that's true. He, he can't even go hard, Lottie, because... Now he lives one run of no, you, no, 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 you can go hard, Lottie. I mean, you it's, can risk, go it's hard, risky. Lottie. Um... It's not that risky, actually. I mean, do you think it's just... Earthquake rocks will win slack off? Yeah. So the Lottie well, has two rocks now. Play, this, is, oh, whatever. this is brought for Axel now. He's never getting rid of rocks anymore. Yeah. yeah this is tough. And Zard, like, he's just once gonna go Zard takes it out, oh. it just takes 50% every time. Is she... I don't know, Axel might double back into Dougie, break into Pex. Um, he might, but... Nice mid ground play know. going Aerodactyl. Oh, does he take? Does he eat? Ooh, he can, he can stone it here. Um, you can sec. If he predicts him to sec the ladder, he can go for pursuit. That would be a fire play. Dude, dude, pursuit would put the nail in the coffin. Pursuit would be game. Pursuit would be game. I'm saying now, right now. So, like, Axel has to get rid of the Aerodactyl and trap the Toxapex with a Dougie? Axel doesn't even, uh, like, like, Axel needs to make plays, but Bro Kappa doesn't even need to make them. But he can make the most uh, obvious plays and, like, still win. He's still has, yeah, Axel is in such a tough spot. I don't think he's winning this. That did nothing, though. That is defensive. As shit. Yeah, he's throwing out the leech here. Yeah. Unless he wants to flamethrow or burn something. Hmm. Just going. Oh, hip, also, hip also maybe. you uh, T spike, and then it's it's pretty much a wrap. Hmm. <sighs> yes, I was thinking him powder on just in case he wants to double switch. Yeah. Into Dark Trio and breaking the packs. Oh lord. I mean... He doesn't get leech sheeted because like, Clef isn't affected by that because of Magic Guard, but... He still gives him lefties. He's, yeah, he's gonna pivot out on the Heavy Slim. Yeah. Yo. Dude, bro, Kappa. He shows a black sludge, which means no, no shed shell. But he doesn't, like, Dougie can't switch into this hard. <laughs> like, he can sack the lot of here, but, like, uh, what is Axel? Axel doesn't win this game at all because he's, his Zard is taking 50, so he's forced to roost every now and then. The sun will run out every five turns, so he can't even do damage. Yeah. Uh, Pex walls out, even the sun can just been recover. The only way I see Axel 10 winning is with Zard, to be honest. It's like um, trapping the Pex with Doug and then going for gro going for ground Z and then trying to win with Zard. But since he's forced to roost every single time, yeah, I don't think he can uh, win that. Though. That's not a good idea. And uh, Scarf Greninja can't even run with Rock Slide flinches because the pawn just snacks that for days. Um, maybe Ice Beam freezes, but even that can't win because of the packs. Yeah. Hmm. 
I'm sorry. Like, the t spark is so nice to, like, chip it. Yeah, you just chip the tang, you chip the gren, you, you chip everything. The doggy doesn't really matter, but he, he also chips the doggy. Uh, I guess he's going for flames or burns because he doesn't have a wind con. Not sure. Oh, he predicted him to go into something like Stila. Uh, something like what? Like he flames oh, through predicting opponent. potential Celestila. Oh, 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 yeah, the opposing Celestila. Um, He's no, just gonna slack no. off here. That was a fine play. So he's gonna go into. This is a bit tough because. Isn't isn't uh Doug free here? If he doubles into Dougie in the on the packs and has ground Z move and gets the roll or gets the kill, oh, that might be really bad. Yeah. For... I, I don't think I don't think he would lose if that happens. But then, Ice Beam from Scarf Grand could become a bit threatening. It gets a freeze here and there. But if he switches out to Zard, he's gonna be so low. He had 12, I think, yeah. Yeah, he's gonna die to everything. Unless he switches it on an earthquake. It only roosts on stuff. It only roosts on Clefable and Celestila, probably. Celebi, is he modest and goes for crit or something? That did nothing. Yeah, this game is over. I wouldn't call it over yet, but. Like, even if he traps the packs, I don't see him coming back. Eh. He can come back. He can still come back. So if he has Whirlwind, he can go for that. He's not weak, True. He's not weak to Pinsir because he has a Stila and Aerodactyl, so I don't think he has Stone Edge on this. And with the T-Spikes and the Rocks, will it make sense? Okay, what did he predict? I don't really understand the aerodactyl play, but oh, in case of in case of Doug, yeah, I, un I understand, I understand. Yeah, but what does Doug even do to Hippo? Toxic. For example, yeah. I mean, he's just gonna go either Clefable predicting a leech seed or Toxapex. Pex is free here. Pex is free. The thing is, I don't even know if Dougie killed the Pex from full. Maybe if it's really speed death. Uh, it seems to be more speed death because the Soul Beam did nothing. Pex into Hippo, into Pex, into Hippo, into Pex, into Hippo. I'll just show you guys the Calc real quick from Ground Z. Uh, versus Pex. Like, I just run this uh, standard spread with like 192 bold. I don't know if that's like the set that he is. But yeah, Z move does. <coughs> Yeah, it has a chance to kill. How much is yeah. it? 37% uh, chance to kill. But even if he gets that... It's not It's not like Axel just wins and he has to get the, the packs trapped to even have a chance. Yeah. Aerodactyl can still uh, come in on the Zard one more time. Uh, especially if the Sandstorm is up. But Sandstorm is not going to be up because Zard is going to switch the weather. But yeah, uh, if Sandstorm is up, uh, Aerodactyl gets a speed death boost. I mean, he can just... Spamming Skull doesn't really do much. Because Tangrowth would get status anyway. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know if Brocap needs the lefties on his Clefable because he could potentially try to double into Clef and then uh, knock off the Tangro's Assault Vest. Is he just PP stalling the seats now? I mean, it's only 11 left, so it's not going to be too hard to stall him out. Nah, he's just like trying to... 
Like I don't think he predicted the doggy because if he predicted doggy he would just hard scald it. Even though doggy might How much does Doggy take from a scald? Uh, 69 to 83 plus rocks plus poison. So Doggy can potentially come in on that if it doesn't get No it can't get burned because of the T spike. So yeah he's, he, I yeah. understand why he didn't stay in because Doggy can technically come in and kill it with a Z move it's if it's the spit death packs, yeah. So he's just gonna switch back, I assume. He's not risking anything. No, he's gonna stay in. I mean, he can stay in, but... He's waiting. He's waiting for Axel 10 to seed. Now you switch. Oh, and he gets oh the there's the burn. Speeds it up a little bit. Yeah, he's just gonna go back to <clears throat> his own Celestealer. Yeah, he's just gonna go back to his own game earlier was kind of cool. The game was fast paced too. This one is gonna take a while. Even though it's like... As long as Bro Kappa doesn't miss up like really bad time, Axel 10 has this game. Uh, uh, the other way around. Yeah. Bro Kappa has the game. <laughs> There comes my lack of sleep into place again. Yeah, and thanks to the burn, he can even go Clef because Clef, nothing. yeah, Clef yeah. doesn't get leashed. And now, yet. and now, Clef just sets up. You can just softball here. You can uh, knock off. He can call mine. He can call mine here. I don't think he's call mine. Oh, he might be. No, he just call mine because he already revealed rocks. Oh, he had and rocks that's on, not he had rocks on, yeah. He doesn't have and to be Calm Mind, but it's so. definitely an option. I've seen a team like this, like an OUPL, very similar to this. Exactly. So the only thing he needs uh, is he's gonna to... Switch. He's gonna switch here on a potential gunk shot. Yeah, 100%, 100%, no doubt. Um, so he's either gonna go Toxapex or Sazla. Pex. <laughs> Pex is just safe overall. I mean, Pex can die if he doubles into Dougie and gets a high roll with a Z move. Hmm. I think I like the um, Salasila play. I mean, he has two plays here, but I think Pex is just better overall. Cause like you, you yeah, still eat. Yeah, uh, had to make like some sort of aggressive play, but it doesn't really help him at all. Bro yeah. Kappa has all the answers at this point. You just go into fucking hippo on the, the flamethrower. Because you set up your sand. Yeah, if a hippo has enough bulk to like take. Oh god, he stayed in. That was so unnecessary. Oh my god. Oh my fucking. God. I get the play, but there was like no point in making that play. That was unnecessary as shit. Well, now he's gonna switch. Um... I mean, I understand the play because he wants obviously to roost because his art otherwise dies to rocks. But I still wouldn't have made the play probably, but I'm, I'm not the god like him. Did not expect Axel to like lose like this. Yeah, I don't know. Common Clef is still kind of dangerous. People kind of sleeping on that boy. Yeah. Because if you're worth beating it, it's like Scarf Grin and. Like Salas Dealer, it's easy to switch out on Salas Dealer if you're the Clefable user. Like, it's not that hard to have Salas Dealer checks. 
he can just switch between his fat mons, uh, Toxapex, Hipparon, and Celesteela. And like the only way Axel Ten can ever like break that core if he doubles into Dougie on the right turn on the packs. Or I guess if he Dougie comes in on the packs and he gets like a low roll. I don't know, is he gonna flamethrow a fish for a burn? I mean he just goes packs here, so Yeah, but he still has to burn it or something, cause like otherwise he's oh wow. That did nothing because the sandstone was up. So now you can pursue if he wants to flex, but he's probably just gonna stone edge. No, he, he's gonna pursue here. He has no reason not to. Oh wow. Flamesaw doesn't even kill, yeah. Wait, does he. Flamesaw's solving Roost. So last move is uh, HP Ice or Focus Blast? If he gets rid of the Zard, that's one last thing that can beat the Clef. Did he Roost? Yeah, that see, that's good. why that's why I thought he would um, Stone Edge, but it's fine. He puts it in range from rocks. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, literally, he gets rid do, of the Zard. All yeah. you do is, is Iron Head or Quirk Screw Crash. He gets rid of the Zard basically because Zard dies to rocks now. You just Actually, had to, yeah, you just you had just to have a mon here, and then you and then Zard dies to rocks. He, yeah, he just had to have a mon that is faster, so Zard can't roost up. And if it switches, it's dead to rocks. So yeah, Zard basically, by the pursuit, it was put in rocks Zard's range. Dead and, yeah, Zard's dead. That doesn't matter. Zard is dead. like yeah, Petlop said it already. They call me rip. rip. Oh, what's Z, Z rock slide? Oh, he's crush. That did nothing. <laughs> Yeah, that's rock slide. That's that's rock slide for sure. Too bad that drill doesn't get like a stronger rock move. I mean, does they're saying was the Z move necessary there? It was a fine play because he didn't want to miss, and yeah. He could be, he could afford to make that play because of the rocks that he had up. I mean, he can trap this with Ducky, but does it even do anything? The thing is, it doesn't. <laughs> Cause like, what stops Clef now? So he's gonna go um, Celestina to not risk anything, yeah. Cause Clef cause if he's Z move, that still does too much to Clef potentially. I mean, it's flamethrowers to play here, so yeah. And like, what does what does uh, Bro Kappa have? Uh, no, what does Axel Ten have for Bro Kappa Celestina now? I don't see what he has. Yeah, I think he's still gonna try to keep his leftovers. Yeah. I mean, Pex is a fine play. I mean, tech obviously. Yeah, first then, attack, then you switch. But then Pex is a fine play. Uh, uh, Hippo is a fine play as well. You're like. He has to somehow hex through with Greninja, but it's not gonna be possible. Um, unless he gets rid of the picks. Okay, so he oh, was. Oh, actually, yeah, yeah that, that's that works fine. too. No, that works too. That works too. Yeah. That, that's fine. I mean, what does he even kill us now? Zard dies to rocks. He has to go to his own studio, yeah. And he's super low. You can just protect and here to get some burn chip. And like bro kappa just flames here. Oh I thought he would take for the wrong Nangang chip damage. Yeah.
bro clap uh or bro cap of flamethrowers here uh then goes cleft i guess he can hard flames because protect doesn't really help him because he got knocked off i was yeah. thinking that he could get left if he attacks but he doesn't but if it's like spadev stealing from excel's part which it seems more fist death i think from the damage that we saw earlier yeah it's definitely so it should death. it might be in range from flames or if it's fist death depending on that he will calc that and make the correct play i'm not gonna calc this now when i'm really tired uh i don't think i don't think flamethrower kills the stealer but it should do over 30 for sure i guess i cook it This is but death was uh fist death. Oh wait. It does it does 31 34 to 40 so we had to Oh no it doesn't he doesn't even get chip damage with the burn because uh, Axel still has lefties and burn got nerfed. My bad. He's gonna leech here, right? Okay no. Yeah I mean, the Clefable just still... sets up on this because of the burn. Yeah. So the, it has been fun. I mean, you can softball to play it safe. I mean, I just see him into softball, so yeah. I would probably softball first, but it doesn't really. Eh, I don't know. I don't know if I would. Just in case he goes like, hard Greninja. Oh uh, yeah, I know. I know what you mean. Is if he goes Zard or something, but yeah, that's why I disagree. And I can call mind and uh, I mean and he doesn't I, even yeah, have to call I mean, mind. You can call mind all the same now, but it's gonna run out of like heavy slam if it stays in. Doesn't do enough damage. Did this shot the entire move set? No, it only shot common and softball. So moon blast, and then it's either knockoff or flamethrower. Yeah. Uh, it could also be T wave, but I don't think that I don't think it's T wave. Uh, Mega Roll is pretty fast, and he also has a sand rush speed control thing. Yeah, I, I understand moon blasting in case he goes hard Dougie or hard Gren. So now he's kind of forced to softball. I mean, not forced, but like he is forced to softball. It was like obvious that he would switch now, put it in the softball. That's why I could would have thought about moon blasting again, but this was a fine play. Um, moon blast is just gonna kill this Dougie. He can also. I don't think there's a point in softballing here, predicting a Z move. Because if he predicts, the, yeah, he, there is literally no point. Because if, if he goes for you, Screech for some reason, yeah, especially especially because you outspeed. Just Moonblast. Uh, that did nothing. Wow. Yeah, it's mixed defense, and has been fun. That did absolutely zero. So he has to go Greninja and Gunk Shot. <clears throat> he might just U-turn, but it doesn't matter. Oh, he might also Ice Beam go yeah. for Freeze. Also doesn't matter because the Pex just comes in for free. Has Skull to Saw, so Freeze doesn't even do anything. Greninja also gets worn down by the T-Spike. Okay, he just gunked. Yup, and now he sacks something. Axel tanks and he just forfeits to save us some time. And yeah, I'll upload the other game from earlier tomorrow because, yeah, I gotta redo that. That boy, sorry, went way too wild in that video and it's like... Like some days I can narrate fine when I haven't slept, but today it was really rough. So I'm oh, definitely like I'm gonna same, upload this. Same. I'm not gonna make a thumbnail. I'm just gonna upload this, catch some young sleep. I might make a thumbnail with the. So with the thing, it's one and one now, between Spain and Italy. Uh, I think the first game was played Gen two. Uh, I didn't record it. You guys should know. I don't have the knowledge in that. But yeah, there's gonna be a lot of games in the next two days that are, that will decide. Who moves on to the semi-finals? And do I have anything else to say? Yeah, Bengay versus Sijumas was a really close game that is coming tomorrow. And thank you guys for watching. And you see me more content. Goodbye. Thanks for Paddle for being the young guest. Yeah, the young. <laughs>